Hey guys, this is Marco with Nautical Network and today we are checking out the Hanover 387. Let's start with the basics right here at the stern. This is powered by twin 400 horsepower V10 outboards from Mercury. With twin 400 V10s, the 387 will cruise between 30 and 35 miles an hour and it tops out right around 50. Now this boat has a ton to offer and we're gonna go over everything from bow to stern, so let's check it out. Here on starboard side, you have an aft facing bench with a removable picnic table. It's a fantastic place to hang out, especially if you're pulled up to the sandbar and you have people in the water. Another fantastic feature you'll find on the 387 is this drop down balcony. It's great if you wanna go swimming and easily access the water. Now, the beach club area on the 387 is fantastic as is, but if it's a little too sunny for you, with the touch of a button, you can deploy the automatic sunshade. Let's head just a little bit forward and check out the aft cockpit on the 387. Now, size doesn't always translate well on video, but I want you to take a moment to appreciate how large the bench seating is here in the aft cockpit. As you can see, I'm sitting in a reclined position, but you could easily fit two fully grown adults here at the end. And just across, you have an additional seating area. You also have a built-in fridge right here in the aft cockpit. The helm of the 387 offers fantastic visibility. It's really easy to just pop your head out and see exactly what's going on while you're docking. As you can see, there's a dedicated walkway as well as very high bow rails, which makes accessing the area very safe and easy. While the 387 offers a proper cabin, it certainly does not skip out on the bow seating area. As you can see up here, you have a lovely sun pad area. Unlike most boats in this segment, the bow seating area on the 387 is not an afterthought. As you can see, this is a lovely place to hang out with three individual and adjustable backrests. And all the way forward, you have a lovely teak bench. Next to your helm station, you will find a trash receptacle as well as insulated storage with a built-in drain. At the helm of the 387, you will find two captain's chairs, as well as a Raymarine multifunction display, Mercury vessel view panel, and a joystick controller with Skyhoof, which makes maneuvering incredibly easy. Here at the aftmost part of the cabin on the 387, you will find a double bed right here, as well as a small sofa that could sleep an additional child if needed. Moving below deck on the 387, one of the first things you'll notice is that the cabin offers fantastic headroom. There's also plenty of natural light thanks to large windows to both port and starboard. All the way forward, you have an incredibly spacious V-berth that could easily sleep three if needed. And you also have large windows to port and starboard that provide plenty of natural light. Here at the galley, you will find a full array of appliances, including a console microwave, as well as an Electrolux induction cooktop and an isotherm fridge. The head on board the 387 is quite spacious for a boat of this size. As you can see, it has a fully separate shower stall, which is a fantastic feature to have. Thanks for taking a look on board with us of the 2024 Hanover 387. If you'd like more information, make sure to check out Hanover's website, and thanks for watching.